in this video I'll show you how you can provision a CPI trial uh, in the new Cloud Foundry trial and see how the SAP CPI system works. So the first thing we want to do is you want to select a Cloud Foundry trial. We can select uh, these options and I think AWS is definitely the one that supported mostly by uh, CPI but I would assume that the other ones is also uh, possible to use. Um, so uh, we'll provision the tenant and this will take a, a few seconds uh, to get running. So now we have done that, we will select go to space. And I think that is a little too far deep. Uh, so we need to go back to our account. Here we have our subscriptions. And in our subscriptions, we do have the process of uh, integration. And here we want to select subscribe. And this will then subscribe to this service and enable us to get access to it. So when we provision here, it will create the roles that we need to, to have. So we can see here, it has created some different roles that we can assign to a user. To do that, we need to first go back to our trial account under our roles collection. We'll create a new user role called uh, CPI user. And well, since it's a trial account, you probably it's, it's okay to create too many roles for it. So we'll give it uh, administrator and we will give it uh, integration developer. Uh, that way you have enough access. And obviously if you're doing this on the real tenant, you may consider which uh, roles and actions that you want. Next up is we want to give those uh, roles to a specific user. So we go to this uh, trust collection. Here we got SAP ID service. And here we will enter our username. Show assignments. It's not been added, so we'll add our user. And then we have created the user. Uh, and given this, this uh, these roles it has. So we'll go back to our subscriptions. Here we have the link to our application. We can just select go to application. And then we are asked to log in. Let's see if we got this login working. And if you haven't given print correct access, you'll not be able to see this. And you now you have access to it, but you need to provision it. And that, I guess, is the reason why we want this uh, tenant administrator. And as it says here, it can take 20 minutes. Last time I did it, it took uh, a few uh, seconds. Uh, so let me just pause. So uh, now it's done, it took maybe uh, two minutes. And we can also activate the enterprise messaging. This would allow us to uh, run the CPI uh, iFlows. Uh, that needs exactly once, where if there's errors, we will persist them in these exactly once queues. So now we got access to our tenant URL, we can access it. And in here, we can actually see all the different information that we need. We are developers, so we can create our own or reuse some of the existing packages, deploy them. Um, and if there's any problems, you can obviously uh, just assign the, the roles uh, to it. Um, I hope that this video has been, so let's just see if this works. Um, and obviously it is not as powerful as the normal productive uh, CPI tenants that you're getting, but at least you would get some, some feeling and uh, ability to understand what this, uh, this tool can do. Um, figure out how the platform works. Uh, so now we have it in our landscape and we can do, do deployment. We can check our different statuses down here, uh, overview what we have in our messages and stuff like that. So I um, hope this gives you some, some indication of what we have uh, in the CPI and what it can be do using for. So uh, thanks for watching. If you liked it, uh, please click uh, the like button. Um, and if you want to take my CPI course, go to cpicourse.com and, and check it out.